viewing two patterns almost on top of each other can be sometimes difficult. So we're going to change the position of the B channel by putting my mouse cursor into the scale. And I'm going to put it right here on the zeros. It turns to a double-headed arrow. Click and hold your left mouse button down as you drag the scale downward. Now if I release, you see the little straight line right here? That is where my zero is at. If I can drag that down just a little more and get it right on one of the hash marks here, then we can see direct zero here. Channel A of the blue scale is a voltage reading on an ejector. Channel B, the red scale, is the same ejector, however this is now measuring amperage. Oscilloscopes cannot actually measure amperage, however the amperage clamp can convert the amperage value into a voltage scale. That is why we see voltage over here on the right hand side. Later I will show you how to change that to amperage by choosing the amp probe. The injector waveform is very similar to a transmission on off solenoid. Right at this point here is when the solenoid has been energized. Notice that the amperage climbs at that point as well. This is the voltage spike from the solenoid being de-energized. Notice that the amperage drops down to zero. Because this is the amount of time the solenoid has been energized, we can actually measure the pulse width or the on time of that solenoid. Down in the lower left hand corner is a clear square box. I put my mouse pointer on it and it turns to a double headed arrow. I click and hold my mouse button down as I drag the ruler over. This is called the time ruler. I'm going to line it up with the first spot and then you can grab a second time ruler and move it over and line it up with the de-energized spot. This places the ruler ledger on the screen. It shows you the location of your first marker, the location of the second marker, and the difference between the two. The pulse width for this injector solenoid is 1.096 milliseconds. There are two ways to clear your time marker off of the screen. One, you can take the markers and just drag them off to the left or off to the right, or you can just click the X into the legend box.